we need to start saying goodbye to YouTube since they said goodbye to us a long time ago. So Caitlyn Bennett is leaving YouTube. You're welcome. You're, you're welcome. This was all my doing. I'm taking full credit for this. Guys, like we did it. Like our work here is done. We don't need to worry about her anymore. I'm totally kidding. Don't take that seriously, please. Hey cuties and welcome back to my channel for another video. If you want to join the cuties fam, all you got to do is hit that subscribe button, the like button, and the little bell icon to get notified when I make new videos. All my socials are linked down below, including my Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Cameo, Patreon, Discord, my Twitch, my podcast. Any way you can support me is linked down below. And a special shout out goes out to those who support me on Patreon. You guys are the best and I love you with my whole entire heart. But an extra special shout out goes out to a few of y'all in specific. And I hope I pronounce your names right because I, I asked a few of you how to pronounce them. Um, so hopefully I get this right, but we'll, we'll see. Alexi Robitai, Robitai? I think that's how you pronounce it. So a big shout out goes out to Alexi Robitai, Robitai? I think that's it, Robitai. Yes, okay, let's hope I got that right. Uh, and a big shout out goes out to Toby Thorpe and Samantha Andreos. I hope I got your guys' name right, but thank you so much for supporting me on Patreon. You guys mean the absolute world to me. I love you with my whole heart. But anyways, let's get into the video. So I know it's been a while since I've done a Caitlyn Bennett video and you guys have been begging me to do because she's been done a bunch of videos since the last video I did on her. So I'll definitely have to do another video where we like catch up on all the videos. But she put out a specific video that everyone's talking about right now and it's titled Goodbye YouTube. I mean, everyone's been telling me she's leaving YouTube. I don't believe it. Uh, I don't believe she's leaving YouTube. Um, I don't know what this video is about. I haven't watched it yet. But everyone's saying she's leaving YouTube and I don't think she is because I literally went to click on this video and she's already posted another video since this. So I think you're lying to me. I think you're lying to me and she's not actually uh, leaving YouTube. But let's take a look at the video. We'll watch it. We'll react to it and see what's going on. YouTube as we know it is now completely dead. And if you support Donald Trump, your days here are now numbered. Well, yeah, Donald Trump in like a less less than a month is uh, not going to be your president anymore. So it'd be kind of weird for y'all to keep simping over him. And also YouTube isn't dead. It's quite frankly, very alive and thriving. So, but the first thing I want to point out is the fact that she had like a shrine to Donald Trump in her background, like a shrine to Donald Trump. That is very much dry coochie energy. That is very much cult behavior. That is very much culty, cult, cult shit right there. Why do you have a shrine to your- that's weird. That's really weird, dude. Why do you simp over like an old orange man? I just- it's- that's really weird that she has like a picture of him in the background, like a framed picture. She's like- Every, every night before she goes to bed, she like prays to God and then she's like, Donald Trump, <laughs> like it's weird. Like once Joe Biden becomes president, some of y'all are gonna have to like pick a new personality because the personality of being a Trump supporter is like really weird and it, it's over now. And now Caitlyn can go back to being a regular Nazi as she would put it. To us here on the right, big tech censorship isn't anything new. For years now, they've been targeting conservatives and making those of us still left on here have to censor ourselves just to maintain a social media presence. They tried to be subtle about it for a while, but once the election came around, they took the mask off and went full-blown communist, hiding dozens of President Trump's tweets, labeling anything as misinformation, and fact-checking anything that challenges mainstream media narrative. It's so funny because YouTube, like since its creation, has always been predominantly right-wing. And uh, like you can do a, like a bunch of research on it. Leftists and like left-leaning people were never big on the platform or they were too scared because it wasn't the norm to be left-leaning for a long, long time. Like. If you think, I, I remember someone saying this to me and they started a real argument that people are naturally inclined to be like liberal. And I was like, that's just historically untrue. And especially in the United States, because I mean, just look at how many presidents were elected that are Republican. There's been what, 15, now 16 with Joe Biden, 16 Democratic presidents out of how many? Okay, you're telling me that people are naturally left-leaning. It doesn't make sense. Like maybe, 
yes, in our like morals and values, we would naturally lean left, but historically it has not been the case. Uh, it was the norm to be conservative. If you, if you weren't conservative, you were looked down upon like back in the day. So now it's kind of like the, the tides are shifting, but YouTube was always predominantly right wing. Like leftist YouTubers, especially leftist women were not a thing on YouTube, which is funny because I have people like thank me for being a leftist woman on YouTube. And I forget how rare it is. Like left wing people on YouTube are actually a very, very small minority. They're getting bigger now, like we're growing as a community, but YouTube has always been dominated by right wing, like Ben Shapiro and Jordan Peterson and Steven Crowder and like all those garbage people. Now like Candace Owens and like fucking Abby Shapiro and shit like that. That's what YouTube has always been. And the problem was for a very long time is that they were spreading misinformation lies and they were like indoctrinating and brainwashing our children. And they had no other source on the other side to contradict them. So that was the problem was it was predominantly right-winged people sharing their views and there was no one countering their views. So even if a kid wanted to get both perspectives, they were only getting one, which is why a lot of people would go to YouTube and they would just like regurgitate their own ideologies. Now we have a good mix of both right-wing and left-wing on YouTube. I mean, it's still a little bit disproportionate, but we're like working to more equality. And yeah, when you're spreading lies and misinformation, that should be censored or at least have a fact check under it. Um, you don't have to delete those tweets entirely or censor them entirely, but just say, hey, like this is misinformation. There is no actual proof behind this. And the funniest part is that she she's like, oh, they've gone full-blown communist. Um, the right wing constantly accuses us of calling them names and putting them all into one category, but you think that everything we do is communist. They're like, huh, fact-checking? Sounds communist to me. That sounds like communism to me. I would like to just spread my misinformation in peace. Thank you. Do, you. do you hear how stupid you sound? You hear how stupid it sounds? Fact checking equal communist. If one plus one equals two and two plus two equals four, what the fuck is this? Like, they're like, uh, fact check equal communism. Yes, very big brain, big, big brain right here. Very big brain, smooth brain, big smooth brain. Like, shut up. But what YouTube just announced is so much worse than any type of censorship we've seen before. They are now going to completely erase any content that challenges or questions the integrity of the 2020 election. And they boast having already banned thousands of accounts. According to YouTube's latest policy update, quote, since September, we've terminated over 8,000 channels and thousands of harmful and misleading elections related videos for violating our existing policies. The policy update continues, we also work to make sure that the line between what is removed and what is allowed is drawn in the right place. Our policies prohibit misleading viewers about where and how to vote. We also disallow content alleging widespread fraud or errors change the outcome of a historical U.S. presidential election. Now, I'm not the biggest on censorship, but like this makes sense. The fact that you think that this is like wrongful censorship is like hilarious because if there was proof to back up your claims, they would allow it on YouTube. But the problem is, is when you're challenging these things with no evidence, that's spreading misinformation. There is no evidence. There is no empirical data to suggest any form of widespread voter fraud in the US election. This has actually been called the most secure US election in history. So the fact that people are still talking about this being voter fraud and being a fraudulent election makes no sense. There is no proof to suggest that that's true. So when people are spreading that narrative, that's spreading misinformation, which was a big problem on Facebook with the 2016 election was the spreading of misinformation, which they've been taking too many like court hearings for. Um, Mark Zuckerberg or whatever. So like, this is this is just YouTube doing the exact same thing that Facebook should have done in the first place. And here's where things get really, really spooky. We will start removing any piece of content uploaded today or anytime after that misleads people by alleging that widespread fraud or errors changed the outcome of the 2020 US presidential election in line with our approach towards historical US presidential elections. For example, we will remove videos claiming that a presidential candidate won the election due to widespread 
software glitches or counting errors. Those are awfully specific, YouTube. Yeah, because there's been no proof to suggest that either of those have happened. Like Joe Biden won and he's won every day for the past month. Um, just accept that Joe Biden is your president and move on. Like, that's what they're basically saying. Just like, accept that there was no fraud. Like, we don't want to see your Republican tears on YouTube anymore. It's, we don't want to see you spreading misinformation and misleading people and telling lies. Like, just stop, dude. That's all they're saying. If you use YouTube to allege that anyone but Joe Biden won the 2020 election, you will be banned. Even before they announced this policy update, it was already abundantly clear that YouTube was trying to stop the spread of pro-Trump content. In case you haven't noticed, our views on YouTube have recently been a mere fraction of what we were getting just a month ago. Needless to say, it's going to be very difficult for me to keep uploading videos here to YouTube. What am I even allowed to talk about anymore besides the weather? This is why it's more important than ever for you to join us over at libertyhangout.tv where I can actually speak freely and not have to worry about censorship. I'm getting the vibe that this video is just a big ad. I'm already getting that vibe that like, she's like, YouTube sucks. So hit libertyhangout.tv. Like, I have a feeling that's already what this is. She's not actually leaving YouTube. She's just trying to send you to her other channel where she can be a fascist and spread lies uh, without consequence. I really wish that I could upload every single video I make to YouTube, but with the way things are going, the majority of my content going forward will likely have to be uploaded at libertyhangout.tv. I've also moved over to Parlor and Rumble, and I urge you guys very quickly, go follow us there as well. Unfortunately, YouTube's policy of update doesn't just end there. Exactly, this is what I, exactly what I thought. This is just a big ad. This is just an ad for you to go follow her on other accounts. And here's where their policy update gets a little funny. Despite these encouraging results, we recognize that there's always more to do. For example, while problematic misinformation represents a fraction of 1% of what's watched on YouTube in the US, we know we can bring that number down even more. So this misinformation, as they call it, is so dangerous to our democracy that they have to outright ban it. Yet it only makes up a fraction of 1% of what's watched on YouTube. That's like cutting celery out of your diet because you're getting fat. Do you realize how much content is uploaded onto YouTube every day? 1% is a lot. 1% <laughs> of YouTube content, you know, like millions and millions of videos get like uploaded daily, weekly, monthly. 1% of that content being misinformation is really large, especially when it's just in the United States or just revolving around the US election. That's crazy. C cutting celery out of your diet. That's not even equivalent. First of all, you don't gain weight from celery. It's actually, you'll lose weight from celery just because it takes more uh, energy and more calories to eat celery than it's actually giving you. So first of all, that was a horrible analogy, Caitlin. Come on now, where's the logic and facts? <laughs> but that would be like if you ate garbage like for every meal and then like dessert at the end of the night and you just cut out the dessert. It would definitely help a lot. It wouldn't make you like a huge change in your life, but small changes are how you lose weight. Whereas small changes again on the platform are how you make change. With this, we need to start saying goodbye to YouTube since they said goodbye to us a long time ago. Join us over at libertyhangout.tv to watch Caitlin Bennett. No, Caitlin, no, don't go. We're gonna miss you so much, baby. What content will I make now? You were my whole life, Caitlin. No, come back, please. The best seller for people who are forced to wear a mask, but still wanna send a message while they're being forced to. Sh the mask says worn by force, not by fear. Caitlin, in your live stream where you made fun of me, you literally were like, COVID's real, guys. It's real. You need to be careful. Da -da -da -da. And now you're just like, <laughs> worn by force, not by fear. No, you know you wear your mask. You know you wear your mask because you don't want to get it. A uh, couple people trying to touch the camera or whatever. That's why I have these guys. They handled it very well. The only way I can get them is if you support me at patreon.com slash Caitlin Bennett, even just $5 a month, that's where your money goes. That guy in the back who's like staring directly into our souls, why does he look like he can't swim? You know, like he just gives me the vibe that he like can't swim. Like he would need floaties when he goes in the water. If you don't have TikTok, you probably don't understand that diss, but 
genuinely he looks like he can't swim sir you would just sink to the bottom wouldn't you not only will you get to watch exclusive content from me but you'll get to say you stood for the truth you stood against radical leftism and you stood up for america you stood for the truth uh even though we were spreading tons of lies tons of lies tons of misinformation about widespread voter fraud uh the truth that is not true therefore it is a lie therefore it is truth uh, lies equals truth equals communism. Left, left wing fact check, fact check communism. Uh, you fucking communists. Damn you, you fucking commies. Every time they say communism, it just reminds me how stupid they are because I, like, you can't even give me the definition of communism. Every time someone tries to explain communism to me, I'm like, that's not, that's not communism. Like, they're like, leaves on the ground? Communism. Sounds like communism to me. Do you know what communism is? Uh, communism plus Venezuela equals rats. Venezuela communism rats. China. China's not even communist. China is a state capitalist country. It's capitalism. Just because the Chinese uh, Communist Party, the CCP, has the word communist in it uh, does not mean that it's a communist party. That does not mean that it is practicing communist ideology. Uh, just like I call myself King Christina, but I am not actually royalty. You absolute dum-dums. Like, it's a capitalist society. Just, I want you to search up state capitalism and tell me that that's not what the CCP is. Everyone's like, oh, well, you better move to China if you like communism so much. I'm like, no, that would just be moving into another capitalist country, but the worst kind of capitalist country because it's state capitalism. Anyways. Um, so basically, she's not actually leaving YouTube. She's posted a video, like, since this video. So she's staying on YouTube. She's just saying that most of her content is going to be on something else. Yeah, so this was a disappointing advertisement video. I really thought she was leaving, Caitlin. I thought we did something. I, well, I guess she is leaving. She's leaving for the most part. Um, she's going to be posting less content here, which is which is good. But we'll have to check in on what she's posted before this because I really have not paid attention to her. I forgot she existed there for a while and it was a nice time until you guys started tweeting me and messaging me being like, cover Caitlin Bennett leaving YouTube. Um, so I did. So here it is. You're welcome, folks. Uh, love you guys so much. I'm gonna be trying to post every single day until Christmas, okay? Don't hold me to that, but I'm gonna try it out. So... As um, one of my subscribers, Iva, said, I should call it, you know, instead of Vlogmas, it's it's Christmas. <laughs> You're so smart, Iva. I love you. But anyways, uh, that's all for this video. We'll be covering more Caitlyn content very soon, so stay tuned. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe down below because you know I appreciate that so much. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.